Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video. I just want to show you a quick run through of how we do a remote survey for any inquiry we get about a solar PV system. So there's a few reasons we do it like this. Number one is the, just the volume of inquiries. Uh, we can't just go out to every job first and measure roofs, um, it'd be impossible. And also if we went out to 50 properties, half of them would probably just price shopping. So by the time we get down to actually needing to get the tape measures out, a lot of people will get everything they want to know from an initial rooftop survey anyway. So the way we do things is someone comes in with an inquiry, we send a form out, they come back to us with some more details, and then we use this brilliant software to get a rooftop design done. So the idea of this video, I'm just going to give an example of how we do that, what you can get from us after that, and then how we go into the next step. So. Hopefully once we've covered all that off, it gives you an idea of just the process that's involved with getting a solar PV quote. So this is the software we use. It's called Open Solar. It's fantastic. This is a sample property we've got here. Um, there's a few different views you can use on this. We use 3D, but you can use a 2D one. So the 2D view is kind of a, a top-down image, more like a traditional Google Maps image. Obviously, the 3D image gives a better picture of shading and things like that. So it is a lot better for doing a, um, a solar design because it puts things like sun paths on there and all of that, which is it, it's important to see, but it's also a requirement for MCS. So us doing that makes things all a lot easier. So we've got this software set up already, so it makes our life easy. We can, um, we can turn around, look at the property from all different angles. You can see here, there's a large tree might cause some shading concerns. Um, but we've got the panels that we fit regularly set up on here. So we just pop them on the roof like this, um, put a system in. If we decide we don't want a portrait system, a landscape system like this, we can soon delete that one. And we can add a portrait system instead. Again, super easy. We just click on what we want. We choose pan landscape or portrait and we drop the panels on. So again, looking at this one, you can kind of see uh, 12 panels fit on there relatively easily. Um, going back with a, a more of an overhead view gives you a better idea of, of what's going on. Now, you can't do everything from this software. So I know from experience, because this is my house, that there's a chimney here. You can't really see it on the software. I also know from experience that the panels fit on the roof because we have actually fitted them. But... You, you know, it gets you 90% of the way there, um, even if it only got 80% of the way there. It's perfect for that first conversation. So if someone comes to us, wants to know what they can have on a roof, we can just throw this together, get the ball rolling. Someone's got a really solid idea of what their system is going to look like. More importantly, it also gives you financial breakdowns, tells you the price, tells you what kit you're going to get, tells you your data sheets, all that sort of thing. So... For a customer coming to us and wanting a survey, this, this is absolutely perfect. So 12 panels can go up on that roof. If we know the exact orientation and the exact um, slant of the roof, we can edit that here, or we can just let the software sort it for us. What we would always do is do an initial pro proposal from the software, and then we'd come back at a later date with a site survey and just firm everything up. So we can ensure that the correct measurements have been applied to your quotes. Your MCS paperwork has got the correct numbers on so you know what your payback periods are going to be. So that's this. Right. So first off, we do that. And then the next thing we do is we start applying things like adding the correct inverter. We, um, we have lots of different inverters we have access to, but this one is the one we prefer. Same again with the pure drive battery. We're going to add a couple of them on this one. Um, and again... We'll get them moving. So that's the quote essentially done, really. So we're going to hit save. That's got the number of panels. It works out the rails. It works out the brackets. It works out the batteries, the inverter. So now your quote is finished. So this is what we're presented with when we get an online quote. Um, system summary comes up here. And you can see this is the price of the system supplied and fitted. Now, um, this isn't just a made up number. This is what it would cost if you had a 12 panel system on a pan tile roof um, with a 3.6 kilowatt inverter and 10 kilowatt hours of battery storage. Obviously we do have other factors that can come into it. Roof types, scaffold arrangements, distance from our office, all the rest. But this is a typical quote for us 
in Derby on a 12 panel system, good to go. So I thought this would be good to show people of how we arrive at the prices, how we do the surveys. As you go down the system, you can see we lay out all our warranties. We've got our system performance in relation to consumption. Um, again, this one's actually at my property, so I'm using our real life consumption numbers here. Um, showing how much carbon each year we're going to have offset by using this um, this solar renewable energy and over the system lifetime, how many long haul flights we've avoided and things like that. Um, going into the energy savings, again, this is true pictures based on my tariffs, my usage and a size of system on my property with these prices. So gives you an idea, different properties will have different readings. Um, but for us, this would be a seven year payback. Um, this does not take into account any overnight charging that might do on the batteries. So if we're using our nighttime tariff to charge at night, discharge during the day, then this does not take that into account. So, and as you can see from our usage, we just go up here, even in the summer, we've not got enough solar to cover the whole day. So we probably still will be using overnight charging all year round. Um, which is just sounds mad, doesn't it? <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. We are particularly high users of energy, um, electric hot water, electric heating where we can, um, electric cooking throughout, um, kids that are addicted to the tumble dry, you know, all of that sort of stuff. So this is why we want to go for re renewable energy to help keep those bills under control. Okay, so I hope that covers everything. I thought it'd be quite interesting to show this off. And if anyone's interested in having a proposal like this done for their property, there'll be a link down below in the description. Don't forget to like the channel and um, subscribe for more videos like this. Hopefully, we're doing all the questions you might have about solar PV. We're going to answer them in a simple, easy to follow format. We've got lots more videos like this on the channel. Thanks very much for watching.